In Parshat Bahar, we are introduced to a law that is, on the one hand, fascinating, on the other hand, quite frightening. The law is called Shemitah, the sabbatical year. And the Torah tells us the following, for six years you shall work the land, but in the seventh will be a Shabbat to Hashem. In Parshat Bechukotai we learn that if we do not keep Shemitah, you will be exiled from the land. And indeed, we find that the Jewish people struggled with this mitzvah more than any other. The Jews suffered exile for 70 years. And the rabbis tell us, because they never kept 70 sabbatical years. Well, what is sabbatical years all about? It is an idea that for six years you shall work the land, and one, you leave the land fallow for God. Now, theoretically, this makes sense. I can do this. Six days of the week I work, and I have a day off for Shabbat. But for a whole year not to work? Imagine coming to your boss and saying to him, I need time off. The boss will say, sure, how long you need? Day, a week, what do you need? Your full vacation for the year? And you go, no, I need a whole year off. And you'll say, why? He says, because God said so. You'll be fired. So for a farmer to not walk, work his land for a whole year, it's too hard. It went against human nature, which says that I can control. To hand everything over to God for one day, that's easy. But for a whole year, it was too much. But here was something very powerful about keeping the laws of Shemitah. One that we don't even think about. And that is, the laws of Shemitah challenge our human nature. We live in a world, and as human beings, this has not changed, where we believe that we are in control. And if I'm in control, I cannot leave over. And although I might think it, and I'll go to shul and believe it, and listen to the sermons, and if you ask me, yes, but when push comes to shove, will you actually do it? Too hard. That was the challenge of Shemitah. And this was why it was so hard. So what is the message to take home from the laws of Shemitah, the sabbatical years, it was a lesson in complete faith in God. That no matter what, everything will be for the best. God will take care of it. I saw the following story about the Shemitah year of 1959. The Jewish people in the land of Israel were keeping Shemitah. Not all, not as organized as we have today, but it was being organized. They managed to organize food. But one thing they couldn't organize were onions. Couldn't find onions for whatever reason. In the 1950s, Egypt and Israel were still in a state of war. And an Egyptian cargo ship got caught in a storm and was heading towards the coast of Israel. The skipper, scared about what might happen, called to abandon ship, which they did. The ship crashed into the beach in Israel. And when the Israelis came to find out what was on the ship, they found an empty ship filled with onions. Can you believe it? Onions. And so the, the Jewish farmers and those who were keeping Shemitah had onions for that year. Now you might think this is a crazy story, but it happened. When you put your faith completely in the hands of God, the miracles do happen. That was the challenge of Shemitah. It's easy to talk the talk, far more difficult to walk the walk. And that is the power of Shemitah and the test of Shemitah. Ashrei, praised are those who are able to keep the laws of Shemitah and the lesson to each and every one of us in our own lives about where do we put God in terms of our panasa. Easy to talk and pray, not so easy. To do. Hi, this is Rabbi Lua, and if you've enjoyed the content of the sermons and the ideas that have been expressed in the YouTube video, please hit that first subscription button and notification bell and share the videos with friends. We'd love to grow the channel and love to engage with you. Please share your comments in the section below. I'd love to hear from you. Have an amazing day.